Thank you for holding. This is Joel. Am I speaking with the owner of the business? You got it. How are you doing today? You know, uh, kicking ass, taking names. That's awesome. That's awesome. I hear that. So uh, what this call is referring to is local Google business listings on Google Maps. Are you familiar with this listing and what Google Maps is? Uh, yeah, I use Google Maps every day. I love it. Great. So it appears that your listing has never been claimed or verified. It has remained generic. Which oh, that's makes weird. It appears if you are not in business or not operating. Oh, okay. Well, that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, that's no good, right? Yeah, it's not good at all. This is uh, M Dog Walsh. You got it. Yeah, well, I'm not him, but that's the that's the business. Yeah. Oh, okay. I understand. Let's put this in here. Let me look you up here. Uh huh. We're a children's venue. M Dog. Okay. Children's venue. Yep. So like sort of like a daycare. Sort of, yeah. We we do we do uh teaching. We teach children how to do like uh, what do you call it? Um, like we do a lot of um, uh, parochial type work. We do a lot of uh, instruction and stuff like that. Oh, well, that's great. Mm -hmm. So what's going on here is I put M Dog Well Stay Care California. Right. And I'm not finding you guys. What part of California are you in? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Care calm. Let me see. Okay. Well, it's really more instruction. We teach we teach children how to do welding and how to do uh, basic construction work. All right. So, what would you put that on there? I don't know, trade school? If somebody wanted to Google... Okay. Trade... For, for kids. Yeah. Yeah, we train, we train children. I'll just put trade school, Los Angeles, California. Yeah. And, um... You could put welding in there, or, um... Construction. It's, it's also... We do a lot of construction. Okay, so do you want to hear what I have here? Sure. Uh, of the surrounding uh, businesses when I put trade school? Okay, sure. I probably see Technical College, uh, Los Angeles Trade Technical College, Technical School, Inc., tra yeah. tra Contractor State Licensed Schools. Okay. Uh, School Learnet Academy, Inc., Career Development Institute, I mean, CDA Real Reality Training. Right. None of those places work with I kids, though. We're a very unique business. We teach. I understand. Yeah. I understand, sir. But this is this is what this is what we do, right? We oh, generate got it. ten. We give you ten key. We give you ten key search words. So where trade school would be a part of your search words, um, welding would be a part of your search words. Construction schools would be part of your uh, part of your search words. Okay. And part of your listing. We'll be able to let, let more people's parents, more kids, be able to get into your school. Uh huh. And you can help more of the community. Got you it. Understand? Yeah, I mean the thing is, is we, because we go basically by referral, because we're looking for people to sign off. It's sort of like an indenture type thing, because we are able to teach children to go into spaces that are so small that adult wouldn't be able to fit to do like specialty work, like factory welding and basically it's mainly it's that we do a lot of outsourcing so for us it's like a thing about finding kids who have the intellectual capacity to learn how to weld but also are willing and able to to go into like a, a turbine so to speak to to fix it okay well let's think about this let's say i have a, a kid that's very special and he's very talented and he's a very smart kid right and i want to get him into your school how do i find you well, I think you would – how would you – how did it used to work or how does it work right now, you mean? Yeah, how would I find you? Well, I think you'd be referred to us from a previous client. We have a lot of people in Panama, actually, that we work with. So um, – Okay. That's great. And I understand and I'm not saying that's not like a good outlet to have. Yeah. But I feel like you could, you could broaden the spectrum by getting yourself on Google, the number one search engine – 
in the world. Google, yeah, Google's. Everyone Google's. Yeah, I, everyone I, Google's everything. Right. Sometimes you know. Sometimes I don't though. Sometimes so, I'll just go to the store or something. Figure it out yourself, right? I, I'm old school too. I totally understand that. Yeah, but you're yeah, old school. I, I can tell, man. I can tell that. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, but the average person is, you know, so prone to picking up their phone and looking up whatever, whatever they think, whatever they want. They want an answer for something. They, they, that a click of the finger and they figure it out. Right. So what I feel like. I feel like with any business, as in business right now, having a Google listings and a Google Maps so people can find you, mm -hmm. it's kind of important. Well, you found us, right? You found me. Well, we find you because you're not listed. And oh. that's our job to get people listed. Right. But the thing is, is we don't want to have people so know. You're on a list generated for us to find people that are not listed. That need help to get themselves listed and put on Google. So that's how we knew you. But if you were listed, we wouldn't have been calling you. I guess I don't understand. Cause it, how could you call me if I'm not listed? Because I'm listed. If you call me, I must be listed, well, right? Google... No, you're not listed, sir. You have something up online that says M Dog Welsh. Yeah. Um, and it's just very generic. It's very. Um, like I said, sort of like it's like it's sort of like on online yellow pages. Okay. Like eight years ago, Google gave every business in country a generic business listing. It's just a name. It doesn't really give you any information about your company. It doesn't give any information about where you are. It's just very generic. It's just a business listing. But what a Google business listing and Google Maps is is very professional, and it and it looks like okay, this person has their stuff together, and I could I would like to see if my kid could go there. Yeah, if, if you're a kid, sense? right. But the thing is, we we try to keep it underground because we don't want people to get overwhelmed. We'll get too many responses, and we won't be able to deal with that. And we, it's something where, if we have too many kids who want to do the program, they will. We've had people try to come to the school to steal the kids away because they're so highly trained, but they can't defend themselves. So they, we have other businesses come. We have to keep the business uh, secret, the location. Otherwise, people will steal the children for work. Oh, that got him.